today I thought I'd bring a keep net and the old trusty John Wilson rod. I like using it for nostalgic purposes. Maybe some bream may have moved in. So I piled in a lot, of, a lot deliberately piled in much too much bait. A sliding cage feeder to um, a four pound bottom and I'm gonna fish triple maggot. That's black census uh, river ground bait with a bit of agate thrown in and a little tiny bit of um, micro pellet. I'm packing it in quite tight because those maggots will loosen it up and there's also 15 feet of water to drop through as well. I fish the same spot that I was feeding yesterday. Is off. It's sat in the main line about, probably about 10 foot up from the feeder. That's the end of the line, it's not even frayed. Well, that's not a good start, but um, these things happen. <laughs> if you've got ceramic rings and they've cracked, the line can get caught in between them, and that's what part of the line, so it could have been that. I'm just gonna have a quick look on each ceramic. You've got to look really quite carefully. set a whip up anyway. Don't want a whip getting smashed to pieces. And if um, the chub here are anything like the chub at uh, Canesham Memorial Park, you'll get one hit like that and then we'll back off. I must rip this fish's head off, striking, thinking it'd be another chub because that thump sounds quite heavily. But that bite's taking like 20 minutes to arrive. Right, so the feeder is catching roach but it's less effective, I'm missing bites. So I'll just show you the um, heavier setup that I've got. My Diva Harrier feeder rod, and that's got eight pound and a bait run on it. Yeah, probably about a foot and a half down to a hair rig pellet, and that's on a barbed, barbed hook. That pellet has been out for half an hour and it's been tapped and bounced all over the place, but no proper bites. Rod thumped round and I uh, thought I had a really good fish on for a minute but what I actually had was that and that's been hammered by a pike. actually been really slow and I'm disappointed with today. I've done everything badly. Got a guy charging up and down on speeding to SUP. It's obviously really important to him to cut the corner off where I'm fishing. It's going to affect his time trial once I can deal with six times the current. Came in my swim for quite a couple of minutes just to tap my swim feeder. Come on, no. 